Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we will look at how you can convert units of measurement in Excel and we're going to do this using the convert function so in this example I've got two kind of mini tables on our spreadsheet on what we're going to work with we're going to convert these kilometers to miles and these pounds to kilograms as a couple of examples so let's get straight into this I'm going to click in the cell for miles and I'm going to write equals convert which allows you to convert a number from one measurement system to another and when I put in my opening bracket it will prompt us for the information it needs first element of information what number are you looking at converting so I'm going to tell it to convert cell B5, the contents of cell B5. I'm going to put in a comma, so it then asks for the from unit. Now I'm going to provide a link in this video, in the uh, message at the bottom, in the text at the bottom, the description, to uh, an article that will list uh, a lot of these. Uh, different things you can put in there and how to use it uh, effectively but we can see we get this list also as we write it's not a completely full list uh, which is why I mentioned the link in the description that will offer that but there's a huge list here from Celsius to Fahrenheit US pints and UK pints we've got watts here and horsepower and loads of good stuff and we can select it from this list by double clicking or type what it's prompting us to type on the left there so I want kilometers and if I look through this list uh, I can see meters but I cannot see kilometers but I know that if I put a K in front of that then this will work you know just a thousand meters that is what a kilometer is I can get away with that so I'll mention these in, the, in that link in the description to go a bit further on that with a full list of what you can do. So he's giving me a head start here saying I could use meters. I could just time this up by a thousand myself. But in uh, these speech marks, these double inverted commas, I can write KM, put a comma, to ask, convert it what to. And it shows this kind of shortened list. I want miles. So I'm going to go for this statute mile here, MI, and a close in bracket. And when I press enter, it will convert it to a mile. So 3.2K I've always used is two miles. Here it's showing that it's not quite two miles when converted uh, perfectly. Apparently it's 1.988. Um, now I don't really want all them decimal places, I could deal with that with these buttons up here. Uh, but maybe I should mention that we can also pop inside that cell. And I could add the round function to round it for me. Round this convert function for me please. Mr. Round function. Comma. How many digits would you like? I'll have two please. Two decimals. Can you round it to two? And there we have it, 1.99. I could round it to uh, to none, and I would I would simply get two. Okay, kilograms. Let's have a look. If we can get this done, we can say equals convert. Could have that round function there again. The number is in cell B8, comma, and up come these units again. And now we're looking for pounds. There's pound mass. LBM straight away but we've got this list there's inches and feet loads of good stuff some time units there I'm going to double click this time to put that in two units on kilograms just like the kilometer example they offer me grams I know I can put kg for kilograms the K in front close in bracket and we've now converted pounds to kilograms and that should be one kilogram 
so I can add my round function again. Round that. Here we go. Uh, to zero. One kilogram. So I don't have to have any decimal places. 2.2 .2 pounds is one kilogram. Rounded to zero places here. So two examples of the convert function and just converting measurements of uh, of units in Excel. I see there's a large list of what you can do there. Really useful function. Uh, check it out. Hopefully it meets your needs. Got any good examples of what it can do? Post a comment uh, down below, below this video and get in touch with me. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.